check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. Welcome to Jurassic Geek. What's up, YouTube land? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kyoryujin, the ex Kyoryujin. I hope I said that right. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Big packaging. Come here, you got a big picture of this massive mech, a whole bunch of product shots, and a whole bunch of stuff I can't read. And more pictures of things and stuff, and rangers, and yeah, and other things on this side of the box here. Your cross cells. The other side of the box, you got more obligatory product shots. On the back, you have even more obligatory product shots. And look at all the stuff he can do when he does things and stuff and all the other. Oh my god, sad Pac-Man is back. Gah! Sad Pac-Man! <laughs> I'm sorry, Sad Pac-Man. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. Here we have... Kyoryujin Zords. I don't know what these things are called. <laughs> Apparently this is a Power Ranger series, right? It's a Power Ranger series? If you're coming here for a wealth of knowledge on this series, you're not, you're not gonna get it. But I hope that it'll still be fun for you while you're here. But I know absolutely nothing of this series. Um, basically, I, I saw enough reviews of this set that it really made me want it. And I saw it at my local comic book store a couple days ago, and I dropped the money on it. And I'm so glad I did because I freaking love this. This is way too much fun. But um, yeah, I know nothing of this series at all, so. Uh, apparently this is a Power Rangers series, and these are their, their Zords. Okay. Again, I could be right, I could be wrong. I, I, I don't know, because I've never, I don't know anything about this, but it's cool! It's so freaking cool! So, let's get started by looking at these little guys first. We'll just move this big guy out of the way. We'll focus on these two little, little dudes right here. First, we'll focus on this little guy whose name is Stegochi. And he is a nice little guy. Look at him. Oh, that's precious. He's a little Stegosaurus. And, uh, you know, it's, it's... There's not a lot to it. I mean, there is some nice molded in details. You know, sparse on the paint apps, but it's got some nice silver, nice, uh, nice paint there in the eyes. You know, it's got the yellow spikes. It looks nice, and he has this thing poking out of his butt, and he is kind of pooping out a fist there, but, you know, it's, it, 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 yeah, but it's got a button down there for, uh, other things and stuff, but yeah, it's a little, little stegosaurus zord, and articulation-wise, you know, he can, he can open his mouth, that's more for the gimmick than anything else, and his legs have a little bit of movement, but it's more for transformation than anything else, doesn't really serve any real function as far as posing goes, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And he does come with, all of them come with, these little things, which are called, uh, Judenshis, which are basically little, little batteries. That's all, they have, they have batteries. And, um, you can see they're, they're done in a nice silver, and they're molded to look like, you know, a dinosaur mouth thing. And it's got a little sticker there of the, uh, the sword they're representing, as well as a picture of the Stegosaurus itself inside... Nice little hollow foil design, and when you push this button right here, it flips that picture, and this picture right here of the Stegosaurus actually glows in the dark, so, you have that going on there. There you have that, and on the other side it says Stegochi, so you know who this goes to, and this is Judenshi number three, and basically what you do with these Judenshis are, you take his mouth, you open it up, and he has a big hole in there, and you're going to fill that hole. That didn't sound right, but that, that is basically what you're going to do. And you're going to take this battery and you're going to shove it in his mouth. So you just push it in, like that, and that locks it into place. And you're going to push this button right here under his belly, and that will allow you to push it the rest of the way in. So you push that, push the, 
push the Judenchi in the rest of the way, and it will bring up this little spike right here. Then you can close his mouth up, and now he has an extra colorful spike right there that you can run into people and gourd them with. So, there you go. There you have Stagochi. That's what you can do. And here you have, what's her name? Dra Drakira. Drakira! I'll just say it the way you... <laughs> the toy says it. Drakira! So this is basically a, uh, a triceratops, a pink triceratops. Yes, it's pink. It's so pretty. Pretty pink triceratops. And basically it's a, uh, a drilling uh, beast right here, a drilling dinosaur. But again, nice silver paint apps. This piece right here is a, uh, a softish plastic, so you don't have to worry about breaking that. And you got the extra drills here. And this is on a hinge. More for combination mode than anything else. I mean, it does it, it moves out of the way when you open your mouth. If you just open the mouth up, it does move with it, so it doesn't impede anything. And, uh, you know, again, it's got the nice molding here on the drill, on the tail. And again, the articulation is the same as Stagochi. Doesn't really serve much purpose as far as posing goes. But again, lots of nice paint apps, lots of nice little molded details going on there. And a neat little Zord. Triceratops Zord. And she comes with her Judenchi right here. Jurakira on this side. And again, got the little sticker here as well as the sticker inside of the Triceratops. And you just push the button. And there you have the picture that glows in the dark. And this is Judenchi number five. So take her mouth, open it up. Like that. Take the Judenchi, push it in. It locks into place right there. Push the button, and when you push the button and push the uh, Judenchi the rest of the way in, you get the drill that extends the rest of the way out. So there you have that. Not the most dramatic thing in the world, but that's what it does. Just pops that drill out. Now, honestly, even without the Juden Judenchi, um, I'm going to have so much problem saying Judenchi. I'm gonna, that's a tongue twister. Um, <laughs> basically, to eject the Judenchi, you push the button, and that pops it right back out. But even without the Judenchi pushed all the way in, like it doesn't take much to just pull this tail out. I mean, it takes very little pressure. I, I'm not really worried all about breaking anything. It's just it's the slightest pressure, and it just kind of pops right back out. So, you know. So even if you don't use the Judenchi, you can just kind of pop that tail out if you want. But it's meant to be used with the Judenchi, so there you go. Close that up. Close! Oh, didn't have it all the way in. There we go. Close it up, and there you go. So you got those two guys. I'm sorry, this guy and this girl right there. Again, I know nothing of this series, so I'm assuming this is piloted by a girl. I'm just assuming, because it always... The pink Zord always is, so I'm just assuming. Now, we got the big boy. <laughs> Who does not fit in frame, so I must raise the camera. So here we have Gabutira, who is a big red and yellow Tyrannosaurus. And he is quite big and hefty, and for comparison, here he is with the, uh, the Legacy Red Tyrannosaurus Dinosaurd. Just so you can get a sense there of just how big this guy is. So, there you have that. Yeah, he's a, he's a big boy. He is definitely a big boy. Um, lots of nice molded and details going on here. Lots of good paint apps. Nice on the eyes here. Nice silver uh, lining going on there. Nice silver here. You know, nice molded and details. Looks very cool. Big, big stomping feet. He's got little, little hands. That's precious. It's so precious. But yeah. Nice, nice silver going on down here in the underbelly. Very nice, very nice. A lot of connection ports back here. But yeah, he's cool. Um, Articulation-wise, I mean, the only thing he can do is he can open his mouth. Um, he can rotate his head only that way, so you can, I guess you can have him looking a little confused, I guess. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. But that's really all the posability you're going to get. You can move these arms up and down, but it doesn't really do too much. On um, the legs, you can move them, but they don't really serve much purpose, again, as far as posing goes. It's really meant to be 
in one position. So there you have that. He does come with his Judenchi. Right there, Gabotina! Nice red Judenchi. And again, you got the sticker here. Sticker on the inside. You can flip around. So if you want to glowing in the dark or not, totally up to you. And he's Judenchi number one. You can see. There's his battery, his Judenchi. Now, this guy has electronics in him. So back here, you have your power switch. Turn it on. And... There we get the activation noise. And now he's ready for his Judenchi. So you're just going to open up his mouth. Pop this in. Says Gabrichu Gabotera. Somebody, please tell me what Gabrichu means. I I will. I really want to know. I really want to know. Just tell me what Gabrichu means. I'm sure about a hundred of you will tell me. Please, a hundred of you tell me <laughs> what Gabrichu means. I don't know, but it just sounds cool. It's fun. But there you have that. Um, as far as this gimmick goes, um, if you push down on his mouth, it just makes these little fins on his head stand up. So there you go. That's all you get with that. But, yeah, he's very, very cool. Now, all these Zords can combine into a big Mega Zord. So, to do that, we need to pop out the Judenchis. Pop out Stagochis. Pop out Drakiras. Pop that out. All right. Now, before we do the combination, we actually have to scan... Oh, oh, one thing I forgot to show off, too, was without the Judenchi in his mouth, you just push this button right here. You get a nice little roaring sound. And I don't know how good the microphone is picking this up, but this thing is loud. It really is. Especially when we get to the combination. This thing, this thing is loud. But, um... Now, before you get started on the combination sequence, you have to basically, I guess, scan all of these Judenchis. So you're going to take them and pop them into Gabotita's mouth one at a time. You're going to start with one, then three, then five in sequential order. I don't know if that really matters, but that's the way I do it because I'm just, you know, I'm OCD like that. So start off with number one. So you got that. Pop it out, you get a little sound when it pops out. Stegochi. Stegochi! I love it, man, I love it! And Drakira. <laughs> I think I just like a toy that yells at me. I don't know why, but it's too cool. Okay, so now we're going to put Kabutira's Judenchi back in his mouth. Now we're ready to start combining. Now we're going to take their Judenchis, pop them in like that. Make you flip up. Legs. Like that. Pop them in. Flip up the legs. And we're going to start the combination sequence. So you got to take this and bring this down like that. So we're going to start the combination sequence. So... Now before I do that, now before I do that, we have to get this guy ready. So, what you're gonna do with this guy is I may have to rescan all of these again. I probably will. Ah, that's okay. I'll pop it back out. So to get this guy ready for combination, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the legs, you're gonna take them, fold them all the way. Oh, first you're gonna take his tail, slide that out, put that to the side for now. Take the legs, bring them all the way back, and they'll lock in place right there. Break this leg, bring that back like that. You want to split this in half, you're going to push this button right here, and that will release the leg. And you can extend it, bring it down, push the button, extend it, bring it down. And you're just going to take these panels right here, and flip them down, and that just fills up the leg. Bring that down, take the little dino hands, flip them down, and then you just want to rotate at the waist, like that. Now you want to take this tail piece right here, you want to split this open. Now this little armature here is the helmet. You know, pop that off. Slip that back in. 
And you'll see there are two uh, posts right here, and this will clip in to these two clips right here on his back. Clip that in. Oh, hey, hey. Pushed it by my accent. So you have that piece right there. Got his backpack ready to go. And he's getting tall. So I'll flip the head up. And you can take the helmet, pop it on right now. Like that. Okay. So now, we're ready to go. So I'm going to pop these Judentius back out. And I'm going to rescan them just to make sure everything goes the way it's supposed to. So let's do this again. Pop it in. Pop it out. Like that. Pop it in. There we go. Pop that back in. Now we're going to push the center button here. And it's going to start the combination sequence. Or it should. No, actually, it didn't because I didn't pop this one back in. There we go. Okay, so now when I push the center button, it'll start the combination sequence. It'll play music and everything. So, the Sigochi. Push the button in the center. <laughs> That's just so cool. I don't know why, but that is awesome. I love this thing. <laughs> Here is Kyoryujin. In his combined form, and he is a big, massive, meaty mech. <laughs> and he looks really cool. Um, Articulation-wise, I mean, it's your standard Megazord articulation. Pretty much, this is all you're going to get out of him. But nice ratchet joints on him, though. And that's it. I mean, he does have the leg joints for forward and backward movement, but it doesn't really serve much purpose as far as posing. Again, it's just... It's a Megazord. This is basically all the... Pose the bill you're gonna get out of him. You can, you know, kind of look. You can look down into his chest. It's pretty much all you're gonna get. Um, now, as far as weapons go, he does obviously have his. Uh, oops. Brought his leg down there. But um, he does have this, you know, this drill weapon right here. But you can take Stegochi's spines off right here. You can open this up. And you can plug this into Kyoryujin's hand like that as like a, uh, a shield. And this is a little loose, so it kind of flops around, but you can take it. It is on a uh, on its own joint here, so you can't pivot it. So this is basically as a shield. Or you can just extend this all the way out, close this up, and basically it makes it into a big jagged sword of justice, which is pretty cool. Now, that's not all the sounds he makes. He does make some attack noises. Which basically you're just going to pop the Judenshi out of his mouth. Put it back in. It powers up. Push the button. You get some cool battle noises going on there. Now you can do that with each one of these. So basically I'm just going to have to start swapping out some parts here. So we'll pull out Stegochi's Judenshi here. And we'll pop Gabutira's in here. This doesn't read exactly which one's in here. It just reads that there's a Judenshi in here, so it doesn't matter. So we'll just pop this back on. Oh, wait. Put that back on. Put this back on. There you go. <laughs> the 
basically you do have to hear that whole sequence all over again. But you pop that out, pop it back in. The power up noise. more firing noises and now we'll do Drakira's put that out, put that out put that in put that in back in. We got a drill noise there. So, yeah. <laughs> this thing is just really cool. Let me get this guy back to the way he's supposed to be here. Get everybody's judenshies back where they need to be. Because we can listen to that sequence one more time, can't we? Can't we, people? Sure we can. One more time. Capriccio. 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 See, now it's not even knowing what's in there. Yeah, this is a really cool toy. I mean, I I got this a couple days ago, and I've been playing with it ever since. This thing is just really, really fun. This is way more fun than it should be. Um, like I said before, I think I just like toys that yell at me. I don't know why. <laughs> and I don't know what he's saying. If anybody would like to translate, I, I would appreciate it. But it's, it's really cool. This thing is just really, really fun. I'm just... I'm in love with this thing. I, I really am. And one thing I should do here is get in closer on the head sculpt so you can see what that looks like. Let me take the helmet off here so you can see what that looks like. Very cool. I really like this guy. <laughs> this is the best money I ever spent because I've been having a lot of fun with this guy. Now, for comparison, here he is with the Legacy Megazord. As you can see, he's only slightly taller at the head. Obviously, the, the T-Rex head extends a bit further up, but at the head proper, just a tad taller. Just a tad taller, so. But yeah, I really like this guy. I really can't stop saying how much I like this. This thing is just, it's way more fun than it should be. Now, there are two other mechs that go with this guy. There is, what, the, the a green one and a black one. Um... Right now, Big Bad Toy Store is sold out of those. I really don't want to do the overseas online stores to get them. eBay is, you know, scalper priced. If anybody knows a, a domestic online retailer that still has the, uh, the the green and the black mechs for this guy for a reasonable price, please let me know because I'm, I'm seriously considering getting them because, uh, you know, you need to have all five. But, uh, yeah, this this guy is cool. I I. I, I don't regret at all that I bought this. This thing is just too much fun. If you can see me behind the camera, I'm just, I'm ear to ear grinning right now because I, I've been having so much fun with this guy. He really is fun. Do you get what I'm saying, people? Fun. This thing is fun. Really is. Ah. Come on. That's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, um, this guy was definitely, definitely worth it, man. I love him, I love him, I love him. If you have any interest in this stuff whatsoever, I would say pick this guy up. He's worth it because he's just, he's what? He's what? He's fun. He's really fun. So, 
I think that's it. So, don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Kyori Uger, the ex Kyori Ujin. Again, I hope I said that right. I hope I did any, I don't even know if I did any of this correctly, frankly, but, you know, I, I'm winging it. I'm, I'm doing the best I can with something I know nothing about, but. <laughs> This is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face. Woo! Look at me! I'm a dino rider! Yeah! Oh! If you get that reference, I know how old you are. A little help.